Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. So, we have our first contribution from someone other than me. Thank you to... 4D4850 for giving us tumors uh, via GitHub. So, I actually haven't seen how they work yet, so I'm pretty excited because I have a feeling this is going to be high quality. Let's go ahead and jump over to our simple... Oh, actually our skin is here. One is probably better for this. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and give it some nice oxygen, plenty of material so that when the tumor comes it can just take full advantage. So, prop tool, we're going to just get some oxygen in there. Brilliant. You're going to see this entire thing come to life and wake up. Don't worry, I'm going to make it so that it actually saves the oxygen values and stuff at some point. That is in the works. The powder toy save system is a little bit complicated, so I'm going to have to figure it out. Um. Yeah, Charlotte's being quiet. That concerns me. I mean, sure she's not destroying anything. Nope, she's being good. Good dog. I really need to oil this chair so it's less squeaky. The squeaky chair issue has been plaguing. Do you hear how bad that is? It's so bad. Okay, so our creature here has woken up. It's doing well. Let's go over to the biology, and here is tumor. Certain death slash blobification. Well, let's just make it a skin tumor. We'll just... Oh. Okay, right there. Well, it affects skin. Oh, jeez, it's stealing a lot of ox... <laughs> wow! Holy guacamole! It's just stealing everything. It's turning, like, bright white. Oh, oh and there it goes. The tumor is just eating through the tissue. It, it's gonna cause a lot of issues. Um... Not only is it stealing just all the resources available to it, but it's it's going to block off the blood flow through this artery, which it, it has now succeeded in doing. When you look at that. So, um, I wonder if we can attempt, you know, using, like, normal means to, uh, I mean, you could perform surgery, obviously. I'm pretty sure that tumor can take some serious damage as well from heat, so we could try to burn it away uh, with some localized fire. Let's see if we can burn the tumor away. Come on. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're killing it, but not fast enough. It's, uh... Oh! Oh god, and now there's fire. Oh, how did it get over here? Oh, jeez. Um... I don't even know how it got over there. There must be a, a system for a spread. Oh, jeez. This is quite horrifying. The entire thing is just falling apart now. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give it I'll give it to the developer. It works. Very nice. It does, in fact, work. And everything is on fire. Brilliant. And, and it's dead. Just like that. Now, the other thing that they did, uh, which I thought was really cool, is they made it so that the tumor can actually occur over time from things. So I believe they... there's a... Uh, I don't know how it's actually being stored. Let's do a quick check. I think they added to everything the ability for it to... Yes, so if there's a radioactive thing, temp2 goes up, which we should probably move to its own variable under bio, but I'm not gonna, not gonna complain about that quite right now because everything is working properly and other developers cannot read my mind as to what I want. But uh, I think if we just irradiate this a whole lot, we'll probably... Actually, the outer layer of skin may protect it. So like this is this is why you use skin because it will protect you. Uh, but I think that protons will also have an effect, and if protons have an effect, protons are going to go through the skin. And uh, dude, what happened here? Why is the blood light? This actually got really thin. I don't know why. Probably from my radioactive testing. Hmm. Gonna. Curious what happens if you put Nihonium onto it. I mean, Nihonium will cause massive damage, I'm assuming. What about one pixel of... I meant to do one. One pixel of Nihonium versus this creature. 
Oh, it's it's inside of the skin. The skin is attempting to grow around it. Um, but it's dying very quickly. Wow! The Nihonium is just embedded inside of the skin, and the skin is actually doing a really good job of, like, protecting the organism from the Nihonium. It's quite an impressive... What an impressive battle going on over here. Jeez. See guys, this is why you have to be thankful for your skin. Even though it's kind of burned through the meat here as well, there's still enough, like, scar tissue to kind of plug the hole. So, that's nice. Wow, I'm impressed. I thought it would be far more catastrophic. It's, uh... I mean, it's bad, but it's not like... Not like, oh, instant death bad. For reference, this can, like, take out an entire city, so... <laughs> the fact that the skin is doing this well is kind of impressive. What if I put... Oh, you know what would probably get it to have a tumor really quickly? Let's put exotic in. Because exotic is a liquid. And, like, if I mix exotic into its bloodstream, we should just... It should just flow through, or is the exotic too heavy? Exotic appears to be too heavy. How unfortunate. <laughs> Darn it, we're having a bad time here. Bad time indeed. All I want to do... All I want to do is make this, make this organism get cancer. <laughs> Sounds horrible, but it's for science. Science! Okay, um... I wonder, deuterium? Will deuterium cause stuff to change? Who knows? Nobody knows. I think deuterium will at least mix properly with the blood, though. Well, it floats to the top. It's not, it's not causing issues. And yes, it is actually causing the, uh, values to change, which is expected. So let's see if just having deuterium in here is going to cause, at some point, a tumor to form. Uh, well... The cell is already kind of dying over here from the absolutely awful oxygen transfer that's going on. <laughs> it's it's really not doing very well, so let's go ahead and just help it out a little bit. Whee! Free oxygen, everyone. Free oxygen. How about that? Yep, you want some free oxygen? Mmm. Mm-mm, good. I think the issue is over here, the- everything is just getting absolutely... Yeah. <laughs> the deuterium is causing issues, even if it isn't starting a tumor. Interesting. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not really seeing, uh, the... The tumor is coming out of nowhere. Um, I don't think it's going to sneak up on you. I think that's going to have to be tweaked because unless I'm using the mod wrong, which there's always the potential, I'm I'm not seeing much going on. However, however, I would like to just note that the tumor itself is uh, very effective and cool. Let's put some inside of the lungs. Oh my god, the amount of oxygen it's gonna steal. Oh man. Yeah, that's gonna grow really quickly. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look at it go. Now we can see if it actually does kind of spread. So I think it does metastasize because uh, I believe I read in the description of the poll, uh, the comments, that yeah, so it can like store itself inside of another thing, and that gives it a chance to appear at some point. So, like, in the blood, you can see that it has actually moved over here, um, while it started over here. And now that is causing a lot of issues. 
qu quite a few ish. Wow, that that is a lot of. There's like one, two, three, four. These have merged. There's a mega tumor over here. I think I think the organism is going to die. I'm once again I am not a doctor, but I I think it's game over for this boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Legitimately, the 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 entire freaking thing is uh almost turned into two. It's running out of oxygen. And, uh, the interesting thing is that the, uh, health value of the tumor is actually quite high because it just steals so many resources, but it's about to run out. And I don't think tumor can actually, even if it came from lung, I don't think it can, yeah, no, it's not picking up oxygen like lung. Um, hey, look, there's some surviving cells that didn't get turned into a tumor. Isn't that nice? Hmm, yes, this this is quite unfortunate. It would appear that everything's about to die. It's a double whammy. There's zero oxygen and there's like a really high amount of CO2. So we're gonna we're gonna see it start falling apart soon. Looks like yep, there it goes. Back to the powder whence it came. How unfortunate. <coughs> It could have had so much, but instead, it chose to return to ash. Let's burn it. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll speed up the process with some heat! Oh yeah, there we go. Looks like we're gonna have to uh, add an immune system, aren't we? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, well, if the developer of this uh, little thing edition, thank you, by the way, it's awesome. If you're watching, one thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to get those properties, uh, the temp and stuff, and just move that to using the bio stuff. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to kind of create a second save system for the biology stuff so that when we upload things, it doesn't get screwy. So, it it's gonna be a process. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. P Peace. Hail Vuperia. So much, so much is going on in Vuperia right now. So much. We'll have a news video soon. It's, it's quite dramatic. Quite dramatic indeed. Wow, thank you for watching. Hey, and credits gang, if you enjoyed, please leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and just generally support the channel. Um, if you know how to program, you can add to the mod on GitHub. Whoa. That, that would actually be kind of cool. Well, I'm back to developing, so have fun. Happy Labor Day. I'm, I'm working on Labor Day. I'm breaking the entire purpose of Labor Day. Well, I think it's more to like celebrate workers' rights or something, but I like my holiday. <laughs>